Hey friends, welcome back. We are at the start of week two in our 2023 pantry and freezer challenge. And so far so good. I thought I would bring you along as I kind of plan through my meals for week two. Just a reminder, you make your own rules if you're participating in the pantry and freezer challenge. For me, I am doing this in order to work through things in our pantry that have been neglected that I no longer need to be purchasing, but we need to work our way through it because we already have it. And also to work our way through meat in the freezer that's been in there for well over a year. I really would like to empty out our upright freezer so we can defrost it before spring. And I am keeping a running list of things that I will restock when the pantry challenge is over. So far, I have also found that being in the midst of this pantry challenge forces me to think ahead and plan better throughout my week. And as a result, somehow my brain is like functioning at a higher capacity. And I'm actually using my cleaning cards now, getting back into a good routine with our housework and homeschool work. Um, it's just been really good overall. Okay, let's go check out the inventory and see what we're pulling for this week. Fair warning, I did not tidy up the pantry and it is a disaster. One thing I decided during this pantry challenge is that as I pare down some of the things that I want to store long term, like oats, rice, flour, and whole wheat, I'm just going to keep in my pantry enough for a month or two. I'm no longer gonna store 10 or 12 of those containers of oats because I have about 150 pounds in buckets that are for long-term storage. Something I'm gonna do with this corn over the next week or two is use one of the cans to serve as half will be a side dish and half will go into making um, corn casserole, which is really delicious. I'm not really going to worry about using any pasta this week. I am going to use some of this cornbread. I need to make sure that the ones that expire the soonest have been pulled to the front and we will probably have Spanish rice, pinto beans, and cornbread one night this week. We have a good bit of barbecue sauce but I don't have a ton of chicken in the freezer so I'm not going to rush through my chicken. Peanut butter and mayonnaise are looking all right. I really just want to see the things that we are somewhat neglecting and make sure I'm going through that. Now I think we have some sausage like kielbasa or smoked beef sausage in the freezer. I need to look and see if I can find it. That would be really good to make with the yellow rice and then serve a side salad or veggie on the side. I do want to get around to making the split pea soup. You see those um, dried split peas back there. I'd really like to make the split pea soup without the ham and pressure can it. I need to see if I can find a reliable recipe for that. I'm a bit of a rogue canner, but I still wanna make sure that I'm being as safe as possible. And then we can add ham when we serve it, but I really like split pea soup. <laughs> Marshmallows golden raisins, crackers. It's such a mess. Um, I do have a good bit of broth back there. All right, up here, I am almost out, like I have one jar left of store-bought marinara sauce and I have almost three full cases of tomato paste up there on the top shelf. I think I'm gonna try my hand at homemade marinara using tomato paste and then maybe even pressure canning some. Um, after I buy more quart jars. <laughs> Applesauce, all of those things are fine. Coconut milk, but I also have, right there on top of the artichokes, is a little can of Masamun curry paste. So I think I'll use the coconut milk and the Masamun curry paste and make curry this week, but I'll need to use one of my gallon bags of chicken. So I'll probably use some of these canned carrots and I've got um, jarred potatoes as well, home canned, homegrown. So that's probably one recipe that I will use. I've got canned pumpkin over there so I can use that to make some pumpkin muffins or pumpkin bread. These are preserves. Oh, I forgot about the canned canned chicken. I wouldn't use that for something like curry, but 
it's still good to remember. Oh, one thing that I could use the canned chicken for, I have a really good recipe called Grandma's Chicken and Dressing, and that would also use some of those boxes of cornbread mix. And we could also use some of the cranberry sauce. I'll definitely include the link when I make that because it's delicious. I have four or six of the minestrone in a jar soup mixes over there. That's delicious and simple. You can add other veggies to it, potatoes. You can add ground beef or, in our case, venison. I'm just kind of thinking out loud. We have lots of canned venison, lots, because we were out of freezer space. These jars are homemade applesauce. This is red beans and rice base. I would just serve it over rice. There are some snacks for my kids' lunches. We are kind of clearing out. Look, there's our last jar of marinara, and we do have quite a bit of Alfredo sauce, so I need to keep that in mind. Um, homemade noodles with Alfredo sauce would even be a good side if we had um, something with meat, or we could even add ground venison, and it would kind of be like a beef stroganoff canned tuna that I'm not in a hurry to touch. That canned ham is from Aldi and I think we're going to try it for the first time when I do finally make split pea soup. We have lots of grits which we'll be using a lot for breakfasts. Microwave popcorn. Onion soup mix that I use in our favorite meatloaf recipe. I would like to defrost some of the venison in the freezer and make either meatloaf or meatloaf meatballs, which I made a couple of months ago in one of my freezer cooking videos, and they were a huge hit with my family. Breadcrumbs, and then this random box of goodies here I need to go through, and I am determined to use everything in that box by the time the pantry challenge is over. Down here is just random stuff, random crackers. Um, maybe I'll pick up some cream cheese and we will use these crackers and eat some cowboy candy over cream cheese kind of as an appetizer before dinner one night or maybe even an after school snack. Wow, lovely 48 pound <laughs> bag of dog food. What on earth is it in my pantry? And then Ritz crackers, there's, um, Generic Rice Krispies, generic Chex Mix, or just Chex, sorry. And then over here we have homegrown sweet potatoes, some store-bought potatoes, lots of winter squash. I plan on working our way through that over the next two months. I've got my big old hybrid cross-pollinated <laughs> spaghetti squash pumpkin. <laughs> Back there are more sweet potatoes along with some corn husks for making tamales and some tortilla chips. And then over here, we are still slowly working our way through our first 25 pound bag of real salt. And then there are like Parmesan crisps, two different bags of that. So all in all, the pantry is looking good. And the main goal for my pantry challenge for me is just to make sure we are using everything we have. If there are things on this, on the shelves in this pantry that just are never getting touched, then it's time to work through those and stop buying it. This freezer in the kitchen is looking great. Um, we used half of this bag of um, frozen mixed veggies. I've got two chicken carcasses here. If I need chicken broth at all over the pantry challenge, I will just make it fresh rather than bothering to can any since I've got these carcasses in here. There are some pecan halves that I'm going to use to make chicken salad. We're really working our way through stuff in here. It doesn't necessarily look like it, but I promise we have. I am going to use, I'm going to make sure that I um, defrost some of these big two pound blocks of cheddar to use in recipes because they don't shred up super well after they've been frozen, but the flavor and everything is still great and it melts perfectly fine. Oh, that's funny. Do not eat. These belong to Zoe. All right, we've got some broccoli in here. I'm going to go ahead and move these down. See, I've got two there and two there. 
I need to keep them together so I don't forget. I can probably use those to make broccoli cheese soup. We have some pinto beans, really yummy pinto beans left over from New Year's. Two big things of chicken. There's some frozen either pineapple or mango. It's pineapple that we can use for smoothies. There's some butter and some leftover cranberry relish from the holidays, as well as one more lone bag of carrots. Look how gross my freezer is, but it's so hard. Literally, <laughs> it's a block of ice. It's so hard to clean when it's frozen. If you have any tips or tricks for me, please share them. And I don't know why the ice maker spills ice over into the edges over here, but that's kind of aggravating too. All right, hopefully you can pardon the noise. My washing machine is going full speed ahead. All right, I'm not even gonna pull this out. I can see by looking at it that it is completely full of ground venison and maybe some venison sausage at the bottom. And here we have more ground venison as well as some cube steak. I am gonna pull some of the cube steak out for later in the week. All right, I've got some meatballs that we can use, but probably not this week. There's more broccoli in there, some rice cauliflower. This is turkey deli meat. What is under here? Huh. I'm not sure what that is. Let me see if I labeled it. I did label it. It's beef stew from July. <laughs> Unfortunately, not all of my kids are big fans of beef stew. Oh my goodness. I will be so glad to clean this one out. We've got lots of already cooked venison. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull some of these out to make be oh yay there's the kielbasa I was hoping I wasn't dreaming that up I'm gonna pull two of these out for dinner later in the week we will have um, kielbasa and that saffron rice and then I'm gonna pull out two of these bags of frozen now that is not 2019 I think it was October 19th um, I'm gonna pull two of these out to make beef and rice enchiladas for dinner tonight which I am very excited about all right down here you know what I can move some of this venison around feels good to be making a dent in these bins. I cannot wait to defrost this freezer. All right, in here, this is my COVID butter stash, or at least some of it. Um, I really started saving butter <laughs> when COVID hit. I thought there are a lot of things I could do without, but butter is not really one of them, if I have the choice. All right, in here, we've got some other random things. This is a big bag of pepperoni. They're all individually packaged. I think I had purchased a big bag from Sam's when it was on sale, and then I just kind of divvied them up into small um, pizza size Ziploc bags. And then we've got, oh my, some seed corn for planting in the garden. Yeast, lots of peaches. Hey, more butter cauliflower and more venison down here we have lots of mixed vegetables that we need to get to I save my gallons of block bags and we reuse them all the time um, for freezer things so that's down there as well in the door it's still pretty full but there's nothing really in here that I'm gonna pull out right now this is the small freezer that is pretty nicely still defrosted. There are some more bags that we're saving. I think I will use one of these apple pie fillings this weekend. We'll have hot apple pie with vanilla ice cream one night for a treat. 
We still have one last bag of hash browns. My kids love to go through hash browns for breakfast. Um, these are some cram fresh cranberries that we got on sale. This is um, really delicious leftover ham from New Year's. That on top there is a bag of already cooked rice. In fact, I will pull that out and we will use that to make Spanish rice for dinner tonight. Oh my goodness, I forgot about that chicken. That's for fajitas. Frozen fruit for smoothies. More frozen fruit. Blueberries. Oh, there's more. I forgot about that. See? This is why we do the pantry challenge. Look at the chicken. I had forgotten about this, so I'm going to move it up here with the other chicken. I'm sorry if this is loud. I sure would. I would love to get this freezer pared down enough to move things over from the other one and get that defrosted by the end of January. That would be amazing. We actually have a day this week that's gonna be 70 degrees. All right, and then down here on the bottom shelf, we've got two, two bags of chopped celery and some more butter. I will show you my very small grocery haul that I get tomorrow. I'm gonna to pick up some dairy products as well as some fresh produce for the fridge. I hope you are enjoying the challenge so far and saving lots of money and getting creative with what you already have in your house. Feel free to share questions or advice in the comment section. We all benefit from each other's wisdom and experience. Plus, I love hearing from you. Thanks for watching.